to let you know what's been on my mind How can I say this without you thinking that I'm needy All I do is whine what is up youtube it is your boy nicholas bayless here and i am back with yet another youtube video y'all i just came from the gas station so if you hear some noises that's um bags of snacks i thought about it i was like let me make a youtube video i have a youtube video coming out friday september 18th so y'all stay tuned i'm gonna be back on the grind with my youtube stuff you feel me i was gone for a little minute but i'm back now you feel me i don't know i always leave for like a couple of months in the summer and then come back around the time that my birthday is approaching i don't know if anybody else caught that but i did anyway hopefully y'all can see me a little decent um it is currently 9 47 p.m today is tuesday september 15th i hope <laughs> y'all since corona i ain't really been paying attention to the dates the only thing i know is that it's getting close to my birthday you feel me if it ain't nobody else's birthday then i ain't really paying attention to the dates and, and y'all the stuff that i'm finna talk about Y'all don't think I'm mad about it because I'm letting you know right now I'm not mad about it. I'm just like getting it off my chest. I'm not feeling no type of way about none of the stuff that I'm going to say. It shouldn't even surprise me anymore. But it really surprises me how you do so much for somebody. And they try to act like you haven't been there since day one. And they try to like minimize all the stuff that you done did for them like first of all i took time out of my day out of my schedule to get this together for you so that you can be good and on top of your stuff like i am i mean i still have some areas to improve but at least you'll be better than where you are now i just find it funny that people bite the hand that feeds them that you got this person doing all this stuff for you and you wanna so claim run to this other person like they're gonna be giving out that same energy not consumed with a relationship that they forget about who's been there since day one me i'm me i'm the type of person never in my life will I ever ever choose a guy over family over friends especially if they've been there for well of course family gonna be there forever but especially if the friends been there for some years and you just met this dude Now, I'm addressing this because I did see the snaps and I did see the snaps. People have been talking crap about me. I don't care about all of that. That's childish stuff. To go back and forth and do stuff on social media. Now granted, and I'm speaking in code because I don't want feel I don't want nobody feeling like I'm giving them clout or I'm giving them attention. I'm not even gonna say clout. I'ma say I don't want them thinking I'm giving them attention. You feel me? I did make a, a 
snap that was in my feelings, but it wasn't throwing shade to anybody. And if I was mad about it, when I made the snap, then the snap would have included some mad emojis. I was just speaking facts. You feel like, okay, this can be a little childish. Now, mind you, me and this person will have already have this conversation about the thing that I posted. So it's not like I'm going behind this person's back talking shit behind their back. That's not what I'm doing because we've already had the conversation. I realized that I have grown and matured. You can still talk about it. You feel me? But I have grown to the point where I don't do all that social media stuff. I'm not going back and forth. I say what I got to say and I leave it alone. If you still feel there's some type of way about that, that's on you. I don't really think the dude even liked me from the beginning. Now, everybody knows that I'm bipolar. So I have my mood swings when I be like, when I'm just out of there. You feel me? And then it's a it's another thing if I let if I sit up here and tell you, you feel me, I'm not feeling too good right now. Don't hit me up. You should respect that and not hit me up. Correct? Correct. People are just so toxic and they swear up and down. Oh, I have changed. I have changed. I'm not toxic anymore. I'm not toxic anymore. Baby, you're still toxic if you're doing the same things. If you can invite somebody in your life and they can quickly make you go back to the way that you was, you haven't changed. I'm showing I, I have changed. I've gotten into it with people the beginning of, the, of this year, earlier this year. I haven't fought not one person not really argue with not one person because i'm too grown for that i'm about to be 21 and the blessings that god has for me i don't need to be worried about some little petty stuff that's gonna block my blessings honey and another thing and i'm not just talking about the people that i've been talking about this whole entire life I'm actually talking about other people too. If y'all in these toxic relationships with these dudes, y'all need them. Y'all really need to let them go, honey. That ain't good. How y'all only been together for a couple of weeks and y'all already on your first argument? Like I don't. I just move differently. I know everybody not gonna think like me, but I just think differently. Like, that's already a sign of toxicness. Once I catch the vibe, it's over with. I'm removing myself. I have the right of freedom of speech. You feel however you want to feel after I post this video, but I'm so sure not going back and forth with nobody. You're blocked, you're going to stay blocked. And that's going to be that. I, what I did was I deleted the snap that I made because I'm like, okay, this kind of seemed a little childish. I deleted the snap that I made. I know y'all can see me. I'm going to stand right here for a second. Let me go back. What I decided to do was hit the person up so that we can talk about it if they felt some, some kind of way. And I also was trying to hit them up to let them know, like, I ain't really mean no bad blood by it. So I text them like, a normal conference like we're a normal day and didn't get no response and then the person had their dude actually hit me up and kind of end our friendship and i'm like so that means that i ain't mean nothing to you for you to have your dude sit up here and end our friendship why you couldn't do it i honestly feel like the dude has had a problem with me ever since that day I had that little bipolar episode. Did make it clear to him that I don't have no problem with you. I just want some space right now. But I guess he felt like I was being toxic by telling him that like I had a problem with him that I wasn't telling him about. And if I did that would have been it. The problem came in and it's not even that big. The problem came in when you hit me up after I told you to give me space. 
Me, honestly, I don't see where I'm in the wrong at. And clearly, I'm not in the wrong. And I feel like if you were offended by that, okay, we're all grown here. Text me. Let me know. Now, I'm in the dark because I'm trying to be cool with somebody that doesn't even want to be cool with me. And it's like, okay, first of all, I'm not going to sit up and kiss nobody's ass. I'm not out here begging for friends. I don't need to be out here begging for friends. You feel me? Oh, no. Who's going to do that? Not I. So if you don't want to be cool with me, you can just kick rocks. And I feel like it should have been said. If the person didn't want to be cool with me, it should have been said at that moment. I, and also, I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to go about my day, well, about my night. You want to sit up here and talk about how I leave and stuff, and I do this, and I get up and walk out. Baby, you're not the only person in the world. There's other things that's on my mind. There's other stuff that I'm dealing with. Baby, you're not my number one priority. I'm going to let it go. I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest. I'm... Y'all, when I tell you I'm not mad about it, ever since the day happened and I didn't moved on, I'm like, because I even told myself, I kind of felt weird. I try to give people chance after chance because I saw that this person really ain't had nobody really in their corner. So I'm like, okay, let me step up and be in this person's corner. You feel me? And no matter how many fights we get into, I'm gonna be, I'll be like, okay, I'm still gonna be in this person's corner no matter what. But you feel me? Three strikes and you're out. This is the third strike, so you're out. The game is over. Finish. Done. Only thing I'm gonna do is put, pray blessings upon you. That's it. I'm gonna move on. That's the only thing I can do. But yeah. No toxic vibes over here at all. But, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned because more videos are coming. Hey, everybody. I hope that your day is going amazing. Your day will be even more amazing if you go purchase my new EP, Summer Vibes by me nicholas bayless it is available everywhere music is sold it is available on all music outlets right now and it's been available since august 1st this is my first four song ep i'm so excited and go get it now i love you guys so much thank you guys for supporting me and if you really support me thank you so much i really do appreciate it because it's a lot of fakes out here I'm not afraid to